Hi everyone, welcome back to today. We're diving into the fascinating world of sound speaker manufacturing. We'll walk you through each step of the process, from raw materials to the finished product. Let's get started. Every great speaker starts with high quality raw materials. These include metals like aluminum, paper for the cones, and powerful magnets. Each material plays a crucial role in the speaker's performance. The first step in the assembly process is constructing the speaker frame. These frames provide the necessary structure and support for the other components. Precision is key here, as even the slightest misalignment can affect sound quality. Next, we have the cone formation. The cones, usually made from treated paper or plastic, are carefully shaped and attached to the frames. These cones are responsible for converting electrical signals into sound waves. Now, it's time to assemble the voice coils and magnets. The voice coil, made of fine wire, is meticulously wound and attached to the cone. Paired with a strong magnet, this setup creates the electromagnetic field necessary for sound production. In the final assembly stage, all the components come together. The frames, cones, voice coils, and magnets are meticulously aligned and secured. Once assembled, each speaker undergoes rigorous testing to ensure optimal performance and sound quality. After passing quality checks, the speakers are carefully packaged to protect them during shipping. From here, they are sent to distributors and eventually make their way to your home or studio. And that's how sound speakers are made. look at the manufacturing process.
next time. Welcome to Tech Machine, where we delve into the fascinating world of manufacturing processes. Today, we take you behind the scenes to explore how electric baby fans are meticulously crafted in factories. From the intricate assembly of components to the rigorous quality checks, discover the engineering marvels that bring these essential gadgets to life. Manufacturing electric baby fans typically involves several key steps. Design and development. Engineers create the fan's design, ensuring it meets safety standards, efficiency requirements, and aesthetic preferences for baby products. Sourcing components. Raw materials and components, such as fan blades, motors, housing, and safety grills, are sourced from suppliers. Assembly. Components are assembled into the fan units on a production line. This includes mounting the motor, attaching blades, and fitting safety features. Quality control. Each fan undergoes rigorous testing to ensure it operates safely and effectively. This includes electrical testing, noise level checks, and inspection for any defects. Packaging. Fans are packaged securely to prevent damage during shipping and handling. Packaging often includes user manuals and safety instructions. Distribution. Finished fans are distributed to retailers or directly to consumers through online platforms, ensuring they reach their destination safely. Throughout this process, adherence to safety regulations, especially given the products used for babies, is critical. Manufacturers also focus on energy efficiency and durability to meet market demands and consumer expectations. Certainly. Here are some detailed aspects typically involved in the manufacturing and design of electric fans. Components. Fan blades, usually made of plastic, aluminum, or other lightweight materials. Blade design affects airflow and noise levels. Motor, the heart of the fan, responsible for spinning the blades. Motors can be AC or DC, with varying power ratings. Housing, encloses the motor and blades, often made of plastic or metal. It's designed to be durable yet lightweight. Safety grill, protects users from accessing moving parts and blades, typically made of metal or plastic mesh. Types of fans. Pedestal fans, stand on the floor with an adjustable height. Table fans, smaller and designed to sit on tables or desks. Tower fans, tall and narrow, with a vertical orientation for space saving. Ceiling fans, mounted on ceilings for air circulation in rooms. Wall fans, fixed to walls, ideal for smaller spaces or specific ventilation needs. Manufacturing process. Injection molding, are used for manufacturing plastic components like fan blades and housings. Motor assembly, and motors are assembled with shafts, bearings, and wiring. Testing, a comprehensive testing for electrical safety, noise levels, and airflow efficiency. Packaging, a secure packaging to protect components during shipping and storage. Environmental considerations. Increasing focus on energy efficient designs to reduce carbon footprint use of recyclable materials and reducing packaging waste. Market trends. Integration with smart home technology for remote control and automation. Increasing demand for quieter operation and energy efficiency. Customization options such as color choices and blade designs to appeal to diverse consumer preferences. Electric fans have evolved significantly with advancements in materials, motor technology, and design aesthetics, catering to various needs from household cooling to industrial ventilation.
Stay tuned as we continue to unravel the secrets of technology and manufacturing on Tech Machine. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful videos. Thanks for watching.